The big advances in the last five years have been the ability to translate our understanding of molecular biology into something which is palpable for our patients. And probably bladder cancer is now finally entering in the area of personalized medicine. One of the big, big questions as always has been to differentiate between the tigers and the pussycats. And until now, we weren't really able to do so very accurately. Thanks to very, very advanced cutting edge technologies and which are called usually next generation sequencing, a whole array of new studies have been performed. In the past, we knew that there were differences between low grade and high grade bladder cancer and that was, has been seen across the continuing of the different types of tumors. We knew that there were some specific mutations for low-grade tumors like FGFR3, some more specific for high-grade tumors like P53, but we rarely had a grasp on the entire spectrum of the genetic abnormalities in bladder cancer. With these emerging technologies, which look either at the genome, the DNA, or at the epigenome, which means that the DNA is the same, but is modified after, say, by smoking. This is called the epigenome. Or by what is expressed by these cells, which is the transcriptome. We're now able to have the entire alphabet of bladder cancer cells and bladder cancer tumors. One of the key, key, key papers has dealt with the molecular characterization of invasive bladder cancer by a large consortium of researchers. And that was done using, as I explained, the DNA level, the epigenetics, and the transcriptomics. And we are now witnessing a real revolution. Similarly to what was found in breast cancer, where researchers found that there is way more than one type of breast cancer cell. There are various types of breast cancer cells that are identified by these very, very advanced technologies and that have a translation because not every single subtype will respond similarly to medical or chemotherapy. The same holds true now thanks to these recent advances in bladder cancer. There are various subtypes of bladder cancer, even among the high-grade tumors, luminal and basal, squamous, P53. And they are important, of utmost importance actually, because the, these subtypes respond very differently to different type of treatments, chemotherapy for instance. And several series have shown that very elegantly. Now, we are even moving forward. In the past, it was impossible to tease out the transcriptome of cells that were not fresh cells. It was impossible, it was not really practical. The ability to understand the transcriptome, so the entire set of genes, even on tissue which is fixed, enables us to analyze that whether a tissue is collected here in Toronto, in Vancouver, or in Montreal. And further, our understanding shows that by blocking one gene, it's usually not sufficient. Bladder cancer cells are ultimately complex. There's a lot of redundancy. And with this very novel technologies, we're able to understand the interplay between the different cells and not to block one gene, but block multiple genes. These have been truly one of the key advances that will help us move forward.